What's up guys, Coach Austin here with your Orange Theory workout tip of the day. And real quick, I'm just gonna ask you to take this 35 pounder and I want you to hold it for me. Here you go. Now, when you're holding it, are you going to naturally want to hold the weight way out here? Oh. Or are you gonna keep it closer to your body? My feeling is you're gonna go with the second way of keeping the weight as close to your body as possible. And the reason why I bring that up is because that applies to our weight training exercises. The farther the weight or some sort of resistance is away from our body, the harder it is to maneuver that weight. And I feel like this concept applies very well to bicep curl exercises. So for instance, if you were gonna take a weight and do a bicep curl, now proper form with the bicep curl, we wanna make sure that the elbow is either in line or even slightly in front of our torso as we curl the dumbbell up and back down. Now, I can cheat that though by using that same concept of keeping the dumbbell closer to my body. And what a lot of us tend to do is all of a sudden as we curl up, the elbow goes backwards as we curl. Notice that difference, elbow goes back, weight stays closer, and you can crank out a lot more reps like this than if you keep your elbow at your side. Because when you keep your elbow directly at your side as you come up, now the weight is way out here compared to being closer to the body. So when it comes to making strength gains, you know, everyone likes to get stronger. It's fun to see those improvements, but we wanna make sure that we're making improvements properly by doing every exercise as correctly as we can. So we need to keep that in mind when you attack a bicep curl exercise. If you need to, I recommend using a mirror to help you out. Turn sideways and really watch the position of your elbow as you curl. Are you keeping it strict at your side or are those elbows drifting out back behind you? If that's the case, you're gonna have to drop the ego a little bit, you're gonna have to choose a lighter weight, but by choosing a lighter weight and doing it properly, that's setting you up to see gains more long-term. So keep that in mind while you're doing any sort of bicep curl to be as strict as you can with your elbows. Get out there and crush your workout.